Hello, uh, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on the end of day, Tuesday, the 4th of uh, July 2016. Be sure to, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs at, uh, and uh, also visit TradeSignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the, uh, the latest app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store via tradesignaler.com. Okay, now in terms of the uh, markets closing, let's just bring up the market data closing here. Uh, FTSE closing positive on the back of Mr. Carney injecting potentially 100 and uh, I think it's 160 billion if I can remember correctly, 150 billion into the uh, providing liquidity to the banking sector. Uh, and the uh, DAX only finishing weaker, minus 2%, and the CAC weaker as well along with the Euro stocks, and that's due to the automakers certainly under pressure okay in terms of the uh, commodities commodities certainly are under under pressure along with the uh, the euro dollar certainly is spiking at the moment uh, and uh, along with the uh, dairy option coming in weaker as well australia certainly was weaker regardless given the uh, uh, election uncertainty overnight and the uh, weaker uh, in fact i think it was the jobs numbers or retail sales numbers overnight so certainly a lot of uh, negative news in terms of uh, markets price action also, with regards to European markets, they were under pressure due to the uh, Italian banks uh, certainly weak again. Uh, and even though Monte di Pasci did have a potential um, talk of uh, potentially uh, uh, not recapitalization, but certainly injecting liquidity into the banking sector as well. So, with Mr. Carney's uh, in, in liquidity injection speech, that still didn't uh, stop the blanks, banks from bleeding. And like I said, the auto sector certainly under pressure with BMW, Daimler. Uh, raided over steel buying cartel so uh, we also had concerns with regards to uk with regards to aviva being uh, suspending its dealing in property fund along with uh, standard life and we also had persimmon guidance uh, forecast downgraded as well so certainly a barrage of bearish uh, uh, information obviously uh, news and that certainly has sent the european markets lower in terms of us echo or in terms of eu data EU data today was certainly on the stronger side. Uh, just to confirm, we had uh, market services PMI, French PMI, Italian PMI, German PMI, all coming in on the stronger side, okay? And the UK PMI certainly coming in stronger. Retail sales certainly coming in stronger as well, okay? And obviously, like I said, Mr. Carney's speech certainly was on the dovish side, and that certainly helped the uh, FTSE 100 to a large extent. Okay, ISM, um, factory orders coming in weak. ISM coming in... Uh, slightly better, better than expected at 45.4. Economic optimism coming in weaker, and the global dairy trade auction certainly coming in on the weaker side as well. And you've certainly seen the Kiwi and the Aussie falling at the moment. Okay, now let's see where we are technically speaking. Uh, let's bring up the Europe 350. Europe 350 still, from my perspective, uh, obviously you've bounced off that pivot low on the daily chart. Let's just bring this up for you. Yes, you still have a potential for a lower high. But well, certainly looking to bounce on the fact that uh, we are opening up the potential QE pivots. And like I said, you have the euro now below the 1.1090 zone. And you are looking to potentially sell off here as well. Okay. The 4-hour chart. Let's just bring this up for you. The 4-hour chart. Or should we say 60-minute chart. Let's just bring the 60-minute chart for you. Okay. So you've certainly sold off. And you are now potentially looking into uh, potential support. You've got previous resistance equals support here, so that certainly is an important support zone for the S&P 350. So watch out for that zone. In terms of the German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX for you. So the daily chart, first of all, uh, the daily chart at the moment, you are coming into approaching gap fill support below. So again, now watch out for that zone. A uh, 60 minute chart certainly has solid support here at 9515. If that were to crack, then the next level is gap fill, which is at 9460. So watch out for those two support zones. Okay. In terms of the 10 minute chart, let's just have a look here. Okay, so you're in this bearish channel. Okay, uh, you are holding pivot support at the 9510. You do have unfilled gap below at 9450, but for now, I do think you are going to break out this bearish channel and look to move higher given the fact that we've held double bottom or triple bottom, should we say. So, this is your support zone that you've held this morning and therefore, or throughout the day, and therefore, you are looking to potentially break higher. Okay. So certainly keep an eye on that. Okay, folks. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the CAC, let's bring up the CAC for you, given the fact that we've crossed the German DAX. Now I'm currently long the, uh, the French CAC, so looking for 4190, uh, potentially uh, looking for 4190, 4210, 
and 4235 above which is gap fill so they're the zones that I'm certainly watching out for so keep a keen eye on them in terms of the 60 minute chart given the fact that the 10 minute chart certainly has base it's a 60 minute chart is into that pivot s3 support at horizontal resistance so again looking for a thrust higher on the French CAC and on the daily chart you're you've certainly retraced into that fib 38 percent support zone so therefore looking for a pop higher on there as well okay in terms of the FTSE 100 let's bring that up for you FTSE 100 is certainly holding in strong given the fact that Mr Carney's comments certainly are helping the uh, the actual uh, uh, economy to a large extent given the fact that he's going to uh, create a potential buffer uh, or a backstop of almost 150 billion to allow banks to uh, certainly uh, uh, obviously help and lend to businesses okay and that's obviously will uh, spur economic growth uh, in terms of making uh, borrowing costs cheaper and it certainly will encourage investment as well okay so again certainly something to consider from the monetary policy side okay again uh, you're certainly looking for a move high on the FTSE potentially on the 60 minute chart uh, given the fact that you are now looking to potentially retest that 6600 zone okay and the daily chart certainly from my perspective has retested the previous resistance equal support and therefore is right for a potential move higher now we have had comments with regards to miss hillary uh, no charges being pressed against her okay so again hillary extremely careless in use of email at a server fbi says okay fbi direct does not recommend charges against hillary Clinton. so again that will certainly release some tension in the air okay uh, so no reasonable prosecutor will bring such a case so again certainly releasing some tension geopolitical tension uh, and that certainly should help the uh, equity markets as well and help Im investors to embrace risk okay right so FTSE 100 certainly poised for a breakout higher the next potential resistance on the FTSE at the moment you're looking at uh, 6630 provided it can shake off this standard life and uh, Aviva concerns okay with regards to uh, shutting down its property fund uh, okay so again um, certainly has been a negative impact this morning especially with persimmon as well so the property sector certainly has weighed on the uh, FTSE 100 although the banks certainly are stabilizing okay so certainly keep an eye out for that okay so again FTSE 100 looking to thrust higher certainly putting a bottoming tail okay and certainly looking to move higher let's bring up the chart of the euro stocks okay so stock 600 here we go so again this was a trade that I took on the back of a uh, previous resistance holding inverted head and shoulders target of 2940 and it certainly has defied both okay so it certainly stopped me out today I was stopped out for minus 30 having said that there is uh, solid support now in this zone at uh, 2800 to 2790 so again I'll be a buyer from that perspective okay looking for a thrust higher retracement and then looking to potentially test 2900 again or 2940 so certainly looking bullish from this juncture okay certainly looking bullish from my perspective certainly looking bullish from this junction okay right in terms of the uh, market moves okay right in terms of uh, the euro stocks certainly looking bullish looking bullish and looking for it, the market to move higher and daily chart like i said is into that 38 percent uh, looking at the 10 minute chart of the euro stocks let's see exactly where we are okay so again you have the horizontal support uh, at this uh, at this zone okay and you are now looking to potentially break out this uh, falling uh, wedge type pattern okay a falling channel and looking to break to the upside with the unfilled gap above which is around 6260 so again watch out for 6 of 2830 so 2860 is gap fill watch out for 2830 and then resists at 2830 sorry and the next resistance at 2860 so 2830 2860 will be resistance diagonal trend line at 2840 will certainly act as resistance as well so all these these are all the zones that you certainly need to keep an eye out for okay so i think that's a wrap in terms of uh, oil just to clarify your oil is now coming into support as you can see here on crude oil and therefore you are looking for a pop in commodities and popping commodity currencies so certainly keep an eye out for that and that should certainly help the FTSE 100 to be propelled higher bear in mind the auto sector as you can see the immense weakness here now is into horizontal support and therefore looking for a pop in the auto sector the banks again into that horizontal support looking for a pop here in the banking sector as well dax retail certainly has been uh, oversold uh, at present and you are into that key zone which is horizontal support in that region at 335 so certainly everything is indicating for a move low from my perspective 
okay certainly looking for a move lower certainly right for a move lower you, as you can see here the German bond certainly pushing higher sending yields lower and that in and of itself should help the eurozone to recover and move higher okay right i think that's a market wrap show folks be sure to visit cfts.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% uh,